Chantel, ito na yung part. Alanda na ba? Alanda na. Let's go! Uh -oh. Game number one! Lasunan ng mga Pinoy. I hope you're happy, Coach Mars, because one of us is going home. RSGPH versus Echo. Here we go, Hades. Starting with the purple. Uh, tingnan natin, nasaan si Demon Kai? Starting with the orange. Yes, and uh, RSG Echo dito ang pinakaabangan natin na uh, may initial na labanan or match up at the early part of the game is going to be Aqua and RK3. Gaya na sinabi natin, Aqua has those veteran moves. Pero direct counter kasi dito yung Kagura. Instant dive actually to zone out at this eve. Pero yung salpukan na sinasabi natin on the Little Wonder, same. Pa din, um, more like maingat yung mga teams natin. Pero ang pinakainaabangan ko din is how Eman will play up against a carry knowing na ang hirap pumasok basta-basta ng Alus. And si Alus kasi parang isasakto pa niya yung free hit niya eh, yeah. Para magkaroon siya ng stocks. Pero kasi, habang gusto niya lumapit, pwede siyang pitikan ng pitikan ng damage dito na Denicutin. Knowing Denicutin, kahit anong hero yata yung pwede niyang gamitin, hindi siya nagkakaroon ng uh, errors. And knowing that uh, they have Angela na rin as well um, for Team RSG, napakadali as long as mag-level 4 na dito si Demon Kite. But ito yung sinasabi natin on the top lane naman, Kenji and Kurt TZ matchup. Para ano ito eh, high and low, beso-beso moments for them. Yeah. Uy! Uy, kamusta ka? <laughs> Alam mo na ba yung latest pars? <laughs> Tol, tol, dito tayo sa XP lane. Tol, tayo tol, ulit? <laughs> tayo pa rin? Ikaw na naman. Pero uh, I love what what's happening, Chantel, because you can see na yung veteran si ni Kenji ay sulit na sulit. Kita mo binubuli niya yung barats? Mm -hmm. Kasi kumbaga para dito kay oh. para dito kay Kenji, kailangan niya lang bigyan ng damage from time to time si Barats kasi hindi naman ganun kabilis yung magiging uh, balik buhay niya as compared to the innate uh, characteristic of his uh, of his hero. Pero nga last hit na pwede na flicker by the way. And third of the game, makukuha doon. Napakagaling ng anak ng Pasay na si Hades. Taking that turtle. Demon Knight looking low. Thorn Rose. Siya pa ang unahan dito. Burst ni RK3 is real. Kenji gonna bite down. Akin ka, RTZ. Akin ka. Roughly siya gonna be able to dash on out. RK3 threatening another kill. Tatapon ng payong doon. But it's too short. Tapos si Kenji ang tapang, oh. Kanina. Pagkatapos ng teamfight. Dito ulit ako. Okay lang. Okay lang. Palik na ka dito sa position ko. But for that, it was a one-for-one trade. Gaya na sinabi natin, what more can we expect from the the Filipino teams talaga magbabalagbagan agad yan. Umpisa pa lang and take note that was just the first turtle of Jet Game. Sinasabi natin paunahan either RK3 will burst Aqua or the, uh, the vice versa. Oh, mm, walang magawa si Angela. Heath, honestly, I don't blame him. At this point in the game, hindi pa level 4 si Heath. Wala talaga magagawa yung isang Angela. Pero, to be fair, napalalim siya. Oh, napalalim siya. I think for Echo dito, ang ginagawa nila, since alam nila na si Heath, yes, sa mga ginagamit niya is mostly mga support heroes or not the tanky heroes that he used uh, before. Kaya may tendency siya na medyo mapalala, mapalalim. Even on uh, MPL, ganun yung ginagawa niya for the vision. But uh, it's not advisable and nabasa na ngayon ng Echo. Kaya lagi na siyang pinapunish agad. Uh, although first death, pero ayun, di ba? Sinasalubong lagi na Echo. Oo, oh, oh, Chantel, you said a very, very interesting word. Yan ang magic word natin, vision. Vision. In these two teams, the way that they perform in their matchup, importante yung vision. O tanong sa Eman, o, natakot, ginulat. And I think this is one of our keys to victory. Nabanggit natin sa ating mga internal conversations, kapag binuli mo sa Eman, nag-iiba yung dynamic. Yes, nag-iiba yung dynamic. And speaking of, di ba, Eman has, sinabi natin napakahirap against Benny Cutie. So, early part of the game, makikita natin Benny Cutie for sure makakaangat in terms of the farming. So, magiging question dito or magiging kailangan action ng RSG is kung paano nila ipo-force yung Echo na mapalayo dun sa lane ni Eman kasi for sure kakailanganin yung Demon Kite later on yung tulong from Eman but another third objective na karedy mga teams natin actually Kenji nasa may bandang likod <laughs> Nang mamama, but again, 100% turtle take rate so far. Hades getting that major objective. Benny Cutie daw, ang bilis. Ito mo yun, endless battle? Yan, yeah, napakabilis. Yun yung sinasabi natin dito for Benny Cutie. Mag-free hit lang siya na mag-free hit. And kung titignan natin, even the outer turtle shield ay konting-konti na lang against Eman dito sa laban natin. So kanina si Heath, medyo umiikot-ikot pa siya sa other lanes or other terrains ng ating Land of Dawn. But this time around, naka-force siya papunta doon kay Heath and still, Echo, they are very aggressive. 
pwede pa nga silang kumuha ng panibagong kill. But again, it's them forcing out this RSG squad na umalis doon sa kanilang mga tinatambay na mapa. At yung bottom lane nakuha ulit. Lumiliit yung balwarte mm -hmm. ng RSGPH. And what does that say uh, about their early game? Was this too much? Delikado ba na ang ginawa nila, yung XP lane ay sustain type, tapos yung roam nila, medyo, alam mo yun, walang pang frontline. Actually, hindi lang medyo, talagang wala silang frontline. Oh, actually, ang naging crucial dito para sa RSG, kaya medyo nahihirapan sila. 16k versus 14k, that is because nagulat sila dun sa carry pick kasi maaga nila sila ba si Alvis, pero wait lang. Genji, too much! Kahit na mayroon ka pang Cotterant Inferno, it's a little too much to expect to survive that. Curtisi goes down, trade though, pero ang importante na buhay si Hades. Okay, one for one so far. Yes, one for one so far para sa ating dalawang team. Sir na Demon, kahit heat, ito yung sinasabi natin na tandem nila. For the previous seasons, or for, for the previous weeks ng ating MPL Season 8, parang nabuo yung kanilang confidence towards oh, each other. Oh, yeah, man! Nabuhay, may shield, may shield. May shield. Okay pa. Pero iba talaga eh. Iba yung tapang talaga ni Benny Cutie. Gaya na sinabi natin, every hero or any hero na pwede niyang gamitin, parang ay yung mastery niya. Talagang sagad sa ano man level yung sagad ng hero na yun. And again, Benny Cutie is still at 0-0-0. Pero another one, kung titinan natin yung, second, yung uh, third at na panibago after the first year, may damage na agad. So matagal-tagal pa para mag-scale up dito si Eman. And again, Echo nakapwesto agad sa may third objective natin. Yep, pangatlong third and dito. Bo-burst down ni RK3. Si Hito sa may likod. Jerkling Eagle, Nira, Felicia. Boy pa siya, Ooh. dashing on out. Did the turtle go to Hades? Yeah. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so 100% turtle take rate so far. Heath, uuwi muna. Mid-tier 1 taken down si Eman. Pinagsasamantalan na niya ng oras na parang, guys, hindi nila lang nakikita. It's time. It's time. Wait lang, wait lang. Mahuli ba siya? Oh! Naramdaman niya din. Sabi uh -oh. niya, it's time. Nakakuha ako ng farm, pero it's time na rin para puntahan nila ako. So, yes. unahan ko na nice TV out actually para kay Eman doon. Which is good senses for even a rookie. Yes. Hindi siya nag-overextend. Kasi yung iba, since nakita nila na nag-trail objective, pwede lang ipilit na diretsohin for the third take. But again, for this... Players, Curtis and Kenji, guys, na sinam. Wow! Objective damage per minute. Ganon ka focus si Kenji. Actually, an laki na discrepancy in terms of the numbers. Pero kasi makikita natin yun pagdating sa team fight later on. Uh huh. Even though we didn't see much of it yet in the team fights, kaya na sabi natin man to man defense palang yun. Ang pwede natin i sabi ng correlate or theorize is yung sustain matchup doon sa top lane. Good yun para sa baba. Good yun para kay Benny Cutie. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, kung nakukulong mo doon sa taas ito, napipilitan to si Eman mag-switch ngayon. Oh, biglang circling in. Sa ilan ng tore, pinasok, tinapos ni Hades at ni Benny Cutie. Oh, sasagot naman si Demon Kite. Here comes Hades. Dash in, dash out. Sword intent. Oh. Grabe. And actually, kung makikita natin, yung patience dito ni RK3, hindi niya rin finors. So, imagine ko pumalag din doon. Oh, si Kenji nasa may bottom lane na. Kakasabi lang natin na sobrang objective-centric ng player na to. Again, going back doon sa RK3, imagine hindi niya nilabas ng kanyang payong kahit may mga tatlong players doon. Ang RSGPH at nakakasira ng uh, Torres sa may top lane ng kanyang team. Kasi alam niya na ang kanya kailangan gawin is more on the surprise. Yun yung overturn para hindi din siya malapitan. Yun yung sinasabi natin kung gano'n ka-consistent si RK3. It's all about the pace. Yep, and there's a circling eagle committed by Rafflesia. Mamataan naman dito ni Emma. Nasaan yung mga miyembro? Nasaan yung echo? And that's it. Ult used just for vision. And I guess, nabanggit natin kanina, yung magic word, vision. Yun yung bawi nila. Kung wala kay hit, at least meron si Eman. Pero ult yun eh! Hindi naman yun sa baba. Grabe naman yung burst ni Kuya mo, RK3. The K in RK3 means Kagura. Because of that space made by the mid of Echo, Quick Lord take. Siya talaga ito mo ba yun? Ako hindi talaga ito eh. Quick pa sa fast. Literal na quick pa sa fast. Nauna pa sa first. Nauna pa sa first dito. And again, it's all about zoning out. Aqua. Ganun ka importante yung role ni RK3. It doesn't matter kung lahat ng mga players mabigyan niya ng damage. Pero as long as actually nasama din si Hit sa na-zone out niya. So nahirapan na agad yung RSG doon na pumasok at mag-test ng Lord. But uh, kung titignan natin, we have 6k gold actually for Curtisi. Pero Benny Cute is now 7.5. 6k. Yes, medyo malapit yung goal dito ni Demon Kite. But kung titignan natin kasi yung kaling niya, 
6K. Medyo naiwan si parang Evan dito. And kung ang pinakamalapit ni Benny Cutie doon sa side ng RSJ ay si, ben, si uh, Demon Kite. Chantel, 1.5K pa rin yun. Yes. Ang <laughs> laki pa rin nun, Benny. Baka item yun eh. Oh, Benny, baka naman. Baka naman. <laughs> baka share, naman. Your share your blessings. But again, another turret destroyed dito para sa side ng Echo. And uh, for Echo, ang pinaka masasabi ko for this 10-minute game, napakalinis nilang gumalaw. Yep. Uh, even for Replisha, sabi natin, sobrang aggressive. Pero lahat ng mga pasok niya dito, saktong-sakto against RSG. Malinis. Oh. And speaking of, maglilinis dito sa may bottom lane ang RSGPH. Oh, going for the defense, clearing that Lord. Gonna try to punish Hades. Oh. And now he's dashing, he's dashing out. Sinundok ni Eman, binaon sa... My Lupa, that's one kill for the Aldous. Huge stacks coming in for Eman. Kenji looking low, Papa Zong RK3. Finishing off slain. the Molten Beast. The Demon has been extinguished. 5 to 3. Medyo napalalim, napilita ng RSGPH. Pero so far, I think this is what Echo wants. Yeah, this is Echo, uh, what Echo wants. Kasi na force nila dito yung RSG na pumasok in a way na hindi sila prepared for a team fight. Even for Aqua, ang ascent ni Aqua is napakagaling niya maglatag ng mga skills for his supports. Pero ngayon, since ay kita na na pumasok yung Echo, pumapalag agad sila. Mutalikan na doon si Demon Kite. Pero alam kasi ng Echo na may tendency dito yung RSG na pag nasimulan na ng kalaban nila, nakikipagsalpukan din sila. Salpukan. Salpukan. Salpukan meta. Salpukan Oo, meta. Parang pag, pag umamba yung Echo, yung RSG parang, ito ni. Ito ni. And, and, eh. eh. and that's bad for an Angela. Yes. Yan ang nakikita natin in the past two or three team fights is nandun si Heat, babato siya ng love waves, tapos, ano, ult na ba? Andito na ako eh. Uult pa ba ako? Andito na ako eh. <laughs> Nandito na eh. Wala, kailangan natin gamitin to. Mm -hmm. This is uh, part of our uh, resources. And ito pa. Um, RSG, yes, they have the Alus. Uh, maganda pang uh, late game. So yung kailangan gawin dito ng RSG. Not to force a team fight or not to answer oh. on a team fight. Mostly on defend. But it gives oh, oh, Evan! My boy! Pinagpapato ng shuriken dito ni Benny Cutie. Yan ang sinasabi natin. The keys to victory. Babagyuhin yung matikas. Yes, babagyuhin yung matikas. And Emma now is at 1-2-1. One, one. The only player na nakakapag-push dito or nakakahabol in terms of the gold at may paraan ay si Kenji. Nakita natin siya sa may top lane kanina. But again, Echo, napakalinis ng laban nila or napakalinis ng laruan nila dito. Nagamit na naman. And that is a turret destroyed on the middle lane. And take note, that pong segundo, mabubuhay na yung panibagong lore natin. Given na ganito yung mapa ngayon ng RSG, medyo mahirap na mag-contest if ever nasasimula na Echo. Pero pwede silang makasteal dahil meron din na Aldous. Kumaga, kailangan nilang i-zone out dito. Kaso kasi, um, Thunderbelt, Brute Force Breastplate, and Oracle, more def defensive items talaga dito si, si Eman. Kailangan talaga ma-zone out ng Echo si Eman just in case. Yep, tapos yung Dreadnought armor niya papunta na sa Antique. So, mm -hmm. ang dami niyang iniisip eh. Si RK3, si Benny Cutie, si Hades. Ayun, wait lang, isa-isa lang. Oh, guys, guys, isa lang ako. <laughs> isa ako lang ako. to. Si Eman lang to. Eman lang. Matikas ako, pero mahirap kapag ka ako ang target nyo. Walang matikas sa lima. Walang matikas talaga sa lima. But, eko naman, kung titignan natin ngayon, um, 10k gold. Actually, kung... Isa na lang, immortality na lang yata ang bubuin dito ni Belly Cutie, yes. But if ever man na-targetin siya dito ng uh, RSG, may tendency siya pag-tumakas pag with the guiding wind ni Rafflesia. So, look at the insurance plan. Yes lamang ka, pero ready ka pala just in case maabutan ang worst. Demon Kite pinasok dito ni Kuya Mohit. That's the heart guard from the RWM. And oh they get a lord! What positioning from RSGPH! Na naaw pa nga, but here comes Benny! Pinatay si Heat, pinatay si Demon Kite. Double kill para sa bagyo. Babawian nila. Chantel, I have a question. Worth it ba yun? Yung pinilit ninyo, nakuha nyo yung lord, pero two free kills para sa Echo. Actually, medyo lugi doon yung RSG. Eggles. Eggles sila doon, but in a way, at least that is a buy time for them. Huwag lang ulit na mapitasan sila ng isa. Kasi pag napitasan pa ulit sila, Eggles na yun. Kasi mahirap, mahirapan sila dumipens. Ang tagadipens lang nila ngayon is si Aqua. Pero kailangan din kasi pang counter para sa kanila. But uh, yeah, for RSG, medyo yung Eggles. But at the same time, it's a buy time for them. Kasi mabilis lang din na mamadedepensahan ito ng uh, Echo. But at least nakahinga sila kahit konti. Kasi it might be a one-way push for Echo if uh, it was a different case pagdating doon sa Lord Take. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lord was just quickly defended Bilis? like na that. Parang yung unang 
take lang ng echo. Mm. Yung mas mabilis pa sa first. Mas yung narinig ko promise, ewan ko lang guys, narinig ko sa bahay. Yung Lord sabi niya, oh, huh? ganun kabilis. Ganun agad? Oo. Oh, oh. Sabi niya, teka, hampas pa lang ako. But, yeah, A3 guys, for our score, 15 minutes, um, maliit ang ating uh, kill uh, participation for mostly of uh, RSG. Depende na talaga kung mag-overdive dito yung uh, echo sa kanilang mga tore. But again, the echo is one of the main strengths they have coming into MPL Invitational. They are not going to have unintentional team fights. Considering they are just in terms of the push, they are not going to be able to get the buff of Demon Kite because they know that it is hard to get into the skinny things that Aqua is using the Eve. Yep. Alam nila kung ano yung uh, area of jurisdiction nila. Mm -hmm. Alam nila kung saan sila boss, tapos alam nila kung saan sila bisita. <laughs> Yun ang mga kasi talaga yung importante, knowing na kailangan din talaga masipat ni RK3 kung saan magagaling yung uh, damage from Aqua. But so far, um, the real problem here for RSG is hindi pa natin nakikita yung pinaka potential ng uh, Demon Kite and Heath tandem. Parang yung nagiging hard guard dito ni Heath is uh, mostly para it's either save Demon Kite and, or if uh, they do it automatic, parang hindi nakaka-finish off ng play dito yung RSG. Yeah. Well, they used it once to save Demon Kite nung nag-steal ng Lord. Mm -hmm. So, that's a small win, I guess, uh, for RSGPH kung ang ibibigay nyo kanina, kunyari, uh, anyone but si Eman. Okay na. So, my question next here, Chantel, is... May oras pa ba si RSGPH? Pag nagkanda late game, late game, pag umabot tayo sa break-even, kung saan kompleto na lahat ng items, ng lahat ng hero, pagalingan na lang mag-cellphone, ika nga, kaya pa ba ng RSGPH to? Yes, there is. Kasi the more na natatagal lang dito yung echo to finish off the game, the more naman na nagkakaroon ng space si Eman. So, space and stacks. Space and stacks. Imagine, early minutes of the game, yes, napigilan si Eman, pero pag na-extend yung laban, kahit pa isa-isa, nadagdag ng stack, those are still stacks. So, Um, the more, yeah, the more na extended yung fight and the more na magkakanon yung chance dito for a comeback ang RSG Philippines, knowing na kapag ka pinilit din ng Echo na pumasok in their middle lane, pwede mag-force dito or mag-break through yung uh, RSG Philippines for possible wipeout. But that is, merong but, pag si Benny Cutie ay nahuli nila. And that hasn't happened just yet. That doesn't happen. Honestly, Benny Cutie, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap mahuli. He has two dashes. The flicker counted. Um, pero yun nga, matalino din kasi to si Benny Cutie. He's a veteran player. He's a great gold laner. One of the greatest that we've ever seen. Um, and that's what threw me off in the early game. RSG page, pasinin natin. Kenji, naka-purify. Mm, yes. Kaya nag-isip ako ni Nay. Ult niya, kote na din for no. Alam ko, dapat may vengeance tree. Maybe because para ma-force din nila si Curtisi na gamitin agad yung kanyang Um, what I call is the tone as well. Uh, so if ever, ang isa sa magiging initiator talaga dito for the side of RSG Philippines is good to be Kenji, knowing na mostly defensive items naman talaga ang ginagamit na for the thumbs. And again, um, RSG Philippines, yung movement nila ngayon, nasa, tatry sila mag-contest ng Lord, si Eman pwedeng sumunod, basta-basta. Oh, 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 oh. oh, si Benny Cutie. Hindi lang basta-basta, si Benny gusto niya. Oh, kakancel uh, Okay. Reset, reset, reset. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I like the way you're thinking. I like your thought process here. But how about how about this for an alternative? Paano kung gusto nga ni Kenji overload si Curtizzi? Tapos, tapos, if we play hard to get siya. Diba? Mainit na nga ako. Gusto mo pa ako kainin, pero hindi mo makukuha. Yun, yun, diba? Parang uh, imagine mo, dito ko na welcome sa mukha, tapos hop, joke lang. Hop, oh, joke lang. Kala mo, no? Space. Space yun. Yeah, space yun. And uh, minus one agad yun sa possible na pang-hold dito ng Echo. Kaya mm -hmm. siguro yung Echo, hindi din sila basta-basta na ngayon na nagkukuha or nagtitake ng uh, initiative against RSG because they know na meron na din mga farm dito, mga players yeah. natin. Speaking of initiative, uh, this is great positioning by Echo. Lalo na papakot si Eman sa may likod. RWMRD spent. Si Hades sumasayaw-sayaw. Eman, saan ka, boy? He's oh. a little too trapped. Benny Cutie getting those free hits. Hades goes down. Demon Kai dashing in and Grabe out. Si Kai. Gets his man. Oh. Tapos dito, apat ang humahabol kay Demon Kai. Benny Cutie with the free hits. Kunai, Kurikens. Ah. All you can eat! Buffet ng damage dito oh ang inihandog sa atin ng bagyo. One for one. Demon Kite for Hades. Pero yung Lord nakatayo pa rin. Sabi niya, Woo! Grabe! Ano kayo na feel kanina ni Demon Kite na nasa gitna siya ng mata ng storm? Parang supposedly, that was literally the eye of the storm. Kasi 
nandun siya sa may bush, nakakuha siya ng kill, yes, maganda yung pasok nila, by the way, ni Heath, pero mas mabilis siya naging reaction dito ng Echo to move towards him at siya agad yung targetin. But for Echo, hindi din sila magtatry na kumuha ngayon ng Lord. Pwede nalang simulan, pero nakapwesta din dito ang RSG. So, Demon Kite will be alive after 18, 18 seconds. Kaso, mabilis lang to. Kay Benny QT. Walang taga-retring RSG to, to contest this one. Week of Fate na lang to for RSG. Oh no, wala silang retry. So this is super important. Here comes Eman. Benny QT ang aking susuntokin. Sasagutin naman dito sa may backline. Eman, gotta watch this boy. Ah! Sumusuntok-suntok. Kinain, binato sa may pader ni Cardizzi. Sabi niya, guys, inyo na. Down goes Eman. Popping the immortality. In comes the damage. Monster kill para kay Benny QT. One for one. RTT for Eman. Nakatayo pa rin dito si Lord. Hades, nandito na rin. They bought time for Demon Knight to come back. May retry na ang RSGPH. Here comes the jungler. Here comes the rook. Of the season, FPL season 8. Curtis, gusto na namang Benny kumain. Nagaantay ng ult dito. Benny QT, dash in, dash out. Nang baba rin. Nang baba to ng shurikens. Grabe naman. Dash forward tong ating Benny QT. He is looking for damage. He pumped the immortality. On Aqua, that's it. Godlike. Tatak mo na Demon Kite. Parang reply to nung kanina. Parang kanina. Sakto din. Dito siya tumakbo. But again, it's all about the reaction of Echo sa mga pagpasok. But nice push para dito kay Demon Kite. And na-force niya na magkaroon sila ng sariling nga flow na minion wave na mas makapal against Echo Philippines. But it because of the team fight, Echo ngayon ang makakasecure ng Lord. Kung yung nakikita natin usually na 4 protect 1 for the jungler, for Echo ngayon ang ginagawa nila 4 protect 1, 1 is Benny QT. Mm -hmm. Kanina nung pumasok si Eman with the chase fight against Benny QT, again, nag-compress yung Echo, hindi nyo pwedeng hawakan ang bagyo. And for Team RSG, hindi nila kailangan magmadali na makakuha ng kill against Echo because they can. Yep. Ang nagiging problema lang, paisa-isa-isa silang pumapasok. Ano rin, ano rin? Paisa-isa-isa. <laughs> may action si Chantel. They're just saying, you can't see it, but may action siya. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Could be the final siege. Demon Kai taking so much damage from RK3 into the backline. Eman, muntik ng makagat. Nag-winter tarantin dito. He's frozen! Benny Cutie takes him down. Popping that immortality. Not even a chance. RK3, unang mababawian. Medyo nakasplit ang kompon ng RSG sa loob ng base nila. Hades taking down Demon Kai one for one so far. Venga, two for one. Na-punish ni Aqua ang pag-overcommit. Benny Q, di popping the immortality. In comes Hades. Walang mahanap. Sabi ni Raplesia, guys, out na. Hades, ang asim mo! Nakahandang sumundo si Raplesia, by the way. Ay! Pero kinulang kay MJ, sabi. Hmm, dito ko lang. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. We are now into the 22 minutes. Actually, 23 minutes na yung laban natin. The more that this game extends, the more na magiging masakit si Eman. Nakita natin kanina yung during the teamfight. Kada sa pack, nananakit na dito against Echo. Ang pinaka-problema pa rin ng RSG though is Benny QT and the tendency of Echo na talagang supportan si Benny QT if he is the target. Mm -hmm. But again, It's more on the timing na ngayon kung sinong pagpapasok sa team fight pag masyadong pilit yung initiation yun yung team na malulugit. Yep, Oplan ride the storm ang echo dito. And it's so much easier now for RSGPH to scramble them. Chantel, I see where you were going earlier na parang pag late game ang daming out, mas madaming threats ang RSGPH. In comes Eman, dalawa na ang lane na na-penetrate ng RSGPH. Given na may RWM pa! Papapag si RK3! Sumabog na rin si Benny Cutie. Finally, the shutdown. Can you smell it? RSGPH is gonna go for the finish. Pero wait lang, may depensa pa dito. Curtizzi. Curtizzi ng baba to. Curtizzi kakain. That as well. Come dito. Asa base ko. Gusto mo yan, di ba? Eh, man, dyan ka pupunta. Ito na si Hades. There's a shutdown onto the Aldous. And Echo is still in this. Hades naglapag dito ng perimeter barrier. Walang tatawid. Walang bibigay. Rafflesia. Depensa natin to. Parang season 4. Parang grand finals na... Sunsparks na ka-onyx! This is going to be a moment you'll never forget! Circling Eagle here by Rafflesia! Down goes Kirtizi, Demon Guide gets the kill! At balik tayo! Trabaho lang! Wala personalan! Hades into the backline! Taking down the Eam! Aqua out! 2v3! Kenji boy pa! Papapapang immortality ni Hades! And he's gonna dash in, dash out! Nasa na yung Iper Knight! May minion pa! Isa na lang! And there's the Ter... That's the Thorn Bros! Ah! Too much, ladies and gentlemen! Oh my God! Eventually!